Hey guys, we're back. If you're wondering one, why it's lighter in here and why we look like hammered shit, it's because it was a rough night last night at work. We, we tried to watch it. We last tried night. to watch Friday the 14th. Friday the 4th. Friday, Friday the 4th. The oh, <laughs> fuck, we're tired. <laughs> Friday the 13th, part 4, on Friday the 13th, which was yesterday, just, I didn't, didn't last 30 it. minutes, so. I did find out, though, that it's like 34 years since this movie came out on the day. Like, it came out Friday, April, Friday the 13th, 1984, uh, which is what, two years after the previous one. And apparently this movie is also still in the continuation of yes. the fourth day. Yeah, yeah. It takes place on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, the 15th, this 16th, is, and 17th. This is so fucking dumb. <laughs> like, this motherfucker's been stabbed, hung, axed and, in the face. Axed in the face. And yet he's still kill coming. However, this movie was made, well basically Tom Savini uh, gore master he signed on to kill that character yeah he created him in the first one and uh, signed on to this one so he could kill him because this is part four <laughs> the final, final chapter, chapter. <laughs> um, and this is the one I talked about previously where the thing flies at the screen and explodes it's different than the last yeah. three for sure it has a much different atmosphere to it the kids are they're bad actors but they're funny bad like Crispin Glover Crispin like, Glover's in this movie. that's a whole bucket of weird yeah. from his dancing to how he interacts with the girls to it's just Crispin <laughs> Glover like I couldn't tell if he was trying to play a character or he was just playing himself most of the time there's the weird nudie movie where where douchebag <laughs> Teddy. Teddy. Yeah, Teddy is just like <laughs> <laughs> when he died whole, oh, that was fucking satisfying. Uh, Joseph Zito. Joseph Zito. He did actually a pretty decent job in making a movie that's not like the previous, but also the camera work is the best one, for sure. <laughs> like, there's dolly shots. The camera isn't holding on something for fucking it, decades, and the editing is jarring terrible. as fuck. Like, all, he, right off the bat, like the first one, he like kills somebody and the music cue is still going, and then all of a sudden we're in a house with people walking in the scene. Yeah, it's like, whoa! Big death count in this movie. Yeah. I, I like uh, the dude in the shower. That's a good Yeah, he crushes, that the crushes the face. That was pretty cool. It. And like his feet are like getting cut up by the glass shards. The, the stunts are pretty good in this movie too. Yeah, there's, there's lot, some pretty some good throw stunts. stunts. And it's also, it's probably like the one that people think of because like when I, Friday the 13th tends to be a movie that's in your head. You're like, oh, it's dead teenagers and tons of nudity. And that's what yes. this movie is. More, the most <laughs> amount of nudity out of all of them. Like probably think more than like more combined. All honestly, three, the like, previous three combined. Combined, for there's sure, there's just like oh, hey, constant nudity, they're like hey stuff. guys, skinny dipping, like yeah. and I mean, oh, there's, there's not skinny just dipping one. previously all where like them. everybody goes and like they, they do even it again. on jobs, there's a lot, yeah, another girl goes skinny dipping, there's but a that's another death scene. where gets, she gets stabbed through no. the uh, through, through the, the boat. The boat. <laughs> we we also have the Feldster, yeah, Tori Feldman, Tori uh, Feldman. The height of his Feldman power. <laughs> um, yeah, Corey, uh, Corey Feldman, 12 years old. Uh, he's the, I guess, kind of the main character in this movie. Well, no, there isn't uh, really a really. main one. He's, he ends he's up kind of being one of the main focuses. Um, well, he, he's like a little kid doing little kid things. Like oh, little, the scene. little kid things. This kid's like a super kid. Well, I was going to get to the, the super map, but I mean, like, he's like peeping on, like... How's the peeping, Tommy? Like he's creeping on the neighbors when they're he's trying to watch him, and he's like jumping all over his bed. Um, I'm not sure what that's about. It's kind of weird. My loins. <laughs> but uh, he does make like Tom Savini level makeup masks. Oh, figure. like full uh, on. And then he and can his, fix like, a car. And his like weird hand puppet thing, the, the growl. Yeah. yeah, he can fix a car. And uh, like she's she tells him to fix the lights like he's a handyman like, like his sister do does. your job you're 12 years old <laughs> it builds towards the ending where he saves the day yep by and going full homicidal <laughs> yeah uh, shaves his head yeah and uh, really quick comes like to look like Jason to kind of throw back to I guess the second movie he's like hey you remember what you look like he does shank him in the side of the head with the machete oh. for one of the coolest moments in the film. Where Jason is sli sliding, sliding slowly down, down the machete. And I was at first just like, oh, if, yeah, he'll walk it off. Yeah. <laughs> and he does, and then the die, die, and it's 
repeated. And they do the fade to white in this movie again. The the slow motion, yeah. fade to slow motion, which is like, I guess, a trait. Like a, one of the trademarks of this Maybe. film or something, like, of these series. I stand by it would have been more fun drunk last night than hung over this morning. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I like this movie and it is, it is widely considered one of the best ones. Uh, I can see why, for sure. It's good filmically, there's tons of deaths. Tons of nudity. It's exactly what it, the, it's exactly what 80s slasher horror yeah. is known for. Like this is what they all wanted to be. It's what the next like five movies wants to be, even though they fail miserably for the most part. Sweet, um, so five pieces of shit. No, six pieces of shit six, in a six, row. Yeah, well, Jason X does not try to be this movie. The thing that also there's a few little twists uh, in terms of the narrative. For one, all the teenagers <laughs> in the main house die. Yeah, um, yeah. There's also, he's, he kills an entire house, and he's then there's like, the guy who's this kind of journeyman who's trying to find out what ha happened to his sister because his well, sister he, was he, killed. Yeah, so he, he wants to avenge his sister, his sister because he finds out he's the guy that finds out that Jason escaped from the morgue. Yeah, um, where another couple cool deaths where we didn't oh, talk yeah. about. Oh yeah, oh yeah, pulled open that. at the hospital. The, and he and this, dies. Yeah, he dies. It's great. Um, it you, like you when told, you, I told that we were talking about. He gets killed him. pretty brutally too. Yeah. Like it's not a funny like. Oh man, that's cool. It's like oh damn, he's, he's being slowly he's stabbed, to, like repeatedly stabbed to death while trying to tell the other girl run. Uh, yeah, it's and, like, oh, it's, it's like, funny because I I totally forgot about that storyline I guess because I was referencing the remake is like one two and three. Yeah, he's, and I, the remake's kind of four as well because he's the, the, the Sam Winchester the, is basically his character in the remake. Shut up! <laughs> imagine at the time with Supernatural being as popular as it is, if they had just like, nope, halfway through this guy's storyline, we're gonna kill <laughs> Jared Padalecki. Um, the studio wouldn't have made that movie. You think it's gonna be more of a deal, and it's just like, nope, we're gonna kill this guy. Uh, the movie's got balls, it does whatever it wants, and it's fun for it. Like, I, it's it's a good time in this one. For me, uh, this is definitely probably one of the most entertaining ones. It doesn't have my favorite death. So far, my favorite death is still Wheelchair Boy. But it does have my favorite Jason death with oh. the machete. Oh, and, cool. So we're going to have multiple of those. Yeah, well, I mean, there's six more movies. So, okay, in terms of the ratings, I, I honestly can't actually remember what we gave the last one, but what would you give? <laughs> um, I, I think this one this one's still kind of around a 3-4, like a, a 4 or maybe. Yeah. Because it, it hits what you want it to. It's not a great movie. Uh, oh. The editing's a train wreck, but it's well shot. Oh, yeah, there's one other thing. Um, <laughs> there's a shot where the camera's slowly panning oh, towards the art, house. Got the arch and, yeah, and the, you see the shadow silhouette of the girl get killed. You don't see the actual death. You see it just for a split second of the of the lightning flash, and it slowly comes toward closer towards the house. And then all of a sudden, that bitch is like, "Boom!" against the wall, fucking yeah. impaled. But yeah, no, I'd say this one had better camera work. The acting is odd, but it's different, and that was probably a refreshing feel. <laughs> so I would give this one a four out of seven yeah. for my rating. Yeah, I think that, I think that's that's fair for it. I mean, it's it's never going to be considered a good film. Like. It gives you what this series was building towards. Exactly. It gives you a, a giant hulking dude killing dumb teenagers. In a dad shirt. In a dad shirt. <laughs> um, fucking you die. That's yep. what Jason is. Basically. he's the, They're building their real base. Like every time someone has sex in the movie, they get killed. Oh, and then that, oh yeah, the dog stunt too. I don't know why, but I've got to mention that. Like the fucking <laughs> the dog, dog jumps out the window. window. He's like, oh, fuck lot, this, I'm out of here. A lot of people go through windows in this movie. So anyways, so now we've finished apparently the best one and we should just stop here, but we're not going the, to. They should have stopped here too. It's called the final chapter. Yeah. <laughs> anyways. All right, guys. So we'll see you for, what's it called? Uh, New Blood. New Blood? New Blood. No, no. I thought that was number eight. No, number I think oh, it might be New Beginning. New Beginning. New Beginning. New Beginning. Fuck, this is serious. <laughs> All right. See you guys later.